differential equations. So our second example is exercise 17, page 37 of our book. And we are asked to find the general solution of the differential equation quantity r plus sine theta minus cosine of theta dr plus r times the quantity sine of theta plus cosine of theta d theta equal to zero. Now, uh, our variables here are theta and r. So it's not x and y. So when you check whether this is an exact differential equation or not, uh, this is our m term and this is our n term and this is our dr and this is our d theta. So m should be differentiated with respect to theta. So our partial derivative of m should be with respect to theta. And our partial derivative of n should be with respect to r. Now in, in the case of the m term, since we are differentiating it with respect to theta, then r is constant. So derivative of r is 0. Uh, derivative of sine of theta is cosine of theta and derivative of cosine of theta is negative sine theta but since this is negative so this will become positive now for n term since we are differentiating it with respect to r then uh, theta sine theta and cosine theta are constants so when you distribute r sine theta, the derivative of that is sine of theta because the derivative of r with respect to r is 1. And r cosine theta, the derivative of that with respect to r is cosine of theta. So as you can see, partial derivative of m with respect to theta is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to r. So this is an exact differential equation. So we now proceed to our solution. So we can start integrating MDR. As we have presented uh, on our first example, you could also start integrating N D theta. But here we will show uh, integrating MDR. So again, M is the partial derivative of f with respect to r dr. And this is our m term. So since we are integrating it with respect to r, therefore theta is a constant. So r dr will give you r squared over 2. And sine of theta dr will give you r sine theta. Cosine theta dr will give us r cosine of theta minus then a constant of integration that is a function of theta. And this will now be f. The next is to take the partial derivative of this with respect to theta. So this is constant. This, therefore, derivative of this is 0. Derivative of r sine theta is r cosine theta. And derivative of r cosine theta is negative r sine theta. And since this is minus, this will become positive. And derivative of a of theta will be a prime of theta. But since n term is also equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to theta, which is this one. So you can equate the n term, which is r times the quantity sine theta plus cosine theta, to this term which is this one okay so when you distribute r sine theta plus r cosine theta this will be cancelled what remains is a prime of theta equal to zero so it follows that a of theta is also zero 
So if you substitute this to our equation f here, so as we rewrite our f, and since a of theta is zero, so we'll just copy, copy r squared over two plus r sine theta minus r cosine of theta, and since f is equal to c, we we'll replace f with c, and to remove one half, we will multiply both sides of the equation by two, so we'll now have r squared plus 2r quantity sine of theta minus cosine of theta equal to 2c. But 2c is just equal to c. So our final answer will be r squared plus 2r times the quantity sine of theta minus cosine of theta is equal to c. So this is the general solution of the exact differential equation. We will have our third and final example on the next video. Thank you very much and good day.